this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the Y cross concept in Madden 23. We're going to be showing you how the how to run this play out of the trips tight end. Now, this is a staple passing concept in trips tight end, but it's really a staple concept in any offense in Madden. And we're showing you the concept. You can also apply this to multiple formations. Now, Y cross is one of the five core passing principles that we teach in our five step passing system for how to improve your offense overnight. If you want to check that five uh, passing concept system out, it's completely free you can sign up in the link in the description there's a link down there also if you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook that will uh that will be in the patreon that's only ten dollars to become a member and it gets you access to all of my madden offensive and defensive ebooks so either one of those things interests you be sure to check that out the link's going to be down below now what's really cool about the white cross concept is because it is a concept we can run it conceptually from multiple routes that break at multiple different depths. So I'm going to set a couple of audibles to kind of explain this um, in this video. So we're going to go drive post is going to be one of them. Verticals is going to be another one. And then curl flat is going to be, uh, so we have three different types of levels and we also have PA counter go. Now the core concept comes out of the play PA counter go. And here's how we're going to set it up. So what we're going to do to set this play up is we are going to put our number two receiver in the trip set on a streak. We are going to put the backside receiver in the trip set on either a five yard in route or a smart routed in route that is up to you i like to put the five yard in route typically especially in this year's games because the way the routes work and then we're going to motion the number two trips receiver across the formation so essentially we have a fade out concept and then we're going to be reading the cross to the backside dig so what you're going to see is against man coverage a lot of times this speed out is pretty good at attacking man coverage quickly now i talked about how you can basically turn this into a play that creates a lot of different options for your offense this is a great example of that so let's say we ran the concept something like this right here this is still the same basic concept um except now we're going to use quick hitting routes to attack horizontally so again you can leverage the different principles in the getting the route to break at different depths so another way to run this play um, especially if you're playing someone that runs a lot of cover four is this is where I really like to play uh, P either PA kind of go, but also drive post is really good. Um, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to motion this guy across. We're going to put the tight end on an out route. You can block the running back and you can leave that little underneath a little in pattern. And you'll see here that if they play that and they play the fade, then you can throw this post in the soft spot that is vacated by the zone coverage, which this is gonna then cause them to have to go into a double Mabel. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna go into something like this. This is known as a double flat or double Mabel coverage, where they're gonna be able to have a high flat and a low flat defender. This is where I really like to play curl flat and we're gonna basically set it up almost identical. We're gonna in route our outside trips receiver. We're gonna out route our tight end. We're gonna streak that number two receiver as we motion him across. And then we're gonna block the running back. Now this post route, what you'll see with this is it's gonna get over the top of the cloud flat and that streak is gonna clear out the deep half. So the beauty of this is because we can run this play at different depths, it really does make it difficult for you to stop it um, no matter what really we do offensively. So that's another reason why I like to play verticals. Same basic concept. Again, this is what it looks like. And again, we're just using this at different depths. So, um, you know, something super simple, just like this, got that low flat to guard that. You see there that crosser is super deep. And so it gets over the top of any zone dropped cloud on that right side so really good against man really good against zone this is also really good against match coverage um i don't know if you guys see a lot of match coverage but match coverage is something that is really good um this play right here does a really good job of attacking match coverage because it is going to get a clean what i call a clean clear out and so this fade will take two defenders deep and then it leaves this crosser isolated with only one defender on him. So you have that nice uh, route for the crosser. The other thing that's super underrated in terms of how this play is going to work specifically um, against a match coverage type of uh, concept is this this um, this tight end out route is also something you'll see here. A lot of times you'll get outside leverage and you'll be able to throw the ball to the sideline. 
the wide cross concept is something that is critical for every single offense to utilize and you can utilize this at different depths depending on however you want to play so um you see here we're going to utilize that clear out streak this is a really really good play um here for again just attacking horizontally and you'll notice that slant is still going to get about 15 yards of depth now asante samuel made the play of his career typically these slants are going to get open against this um against this coverage so Another thing that you can do with this, it's kind of neat. If you want to start to utilize the back and, and the read progression, you could do something like this right here. And now you have kind of a Y cross concept combined with a, um, a shallow concept. Another way that you could do it would be something like this. This is also really good. And what you'll see here is now the running back is going to clear out space over on the left to give that in route more room to work the middle of the field. The Y cross concept should be in every single offense. This is how I like to run it out of trips tied in. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, head down to the description, go join the Patreon, just $10. It'll get you access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates and any of the new stuff that we drop in preparation for the man 24 season.